Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. This is another Black Widow Spider update. Yeah, exciting, right? Okay, so we found this one under the sink in the bathroom. Here's a really quick clip to where it was. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, shaky, but the, this is where we found it. This is a good size spider, and this brings the total Black Widow spider count up to, I'm um, pretty sure, is it six, is it seven? Not six, so this is six Black Widow spiders so far we've found in the house. Now remember, it's been years since we had a Black Widow spider problem in our last place, but we figured once that house burned down, and then we pretty much threw everything away, or most things away, that we wouldn't have a problem with Black Widow spiders here in this new place. And for the last two years, we haven't. If you remember when we first moved in, there was a few things we kept. Everything else, you know, that wasn't fire damaged or water damaged or fire extinguisher damaged. It was smoke damaged. But one of the few things that was fine was the bed frame. I mean, yeah, we lost all the bedding and then, you know, that brand new mattress we had just bought. But we were looking in one of the tubes of the bed frame. Remember, we found a Black Widow spider egg sac. Which is really funny because if you remember in our last place when we had that Black Widow spider infestation, you know, from hell, we didn't find any real webs. You would find like a little, you know, web strung back and forth where the Black Widow spider might be hanging from, you know, as a temporary, you know, resting spot or reprieve. But pretty much all the Black Widow spiders we did find were on the move. They were walking across the floor, walking across the couch, walking across the bed. You know, they were they were mobile. They were on the move. There weren't any food sources because, you know, everything was all sealed up. We didn't have any bugs in the house. And even if we did, the two different exterminators that we hired would have been able to, you know, take care of that. They couldn't take care of the Black Widow spiders, but, you know, they didn't find any evidence of other bugs either. We did that crawl under the house. Now, we did find, I think, an egg sack or two in that crawl we did under the house. And we found some spiders, too. But really, we thought the whole Black Widow spider thing was behind us. And really, there's a lot of reasons to be happy about Black Widow spiders being behind you. I mean, not directly behind you. I mean, way, way, way behind you. So, all right, this is spider number six. Let's hope there is not a number seven. And like I said, we've been looking through all the nooks and crannies in the house, trying to find out, you know, where one was hiding. The original infestation happened from a used toy collection I bought online that came from Southern California. It was a big, giant Lego and toy collection. And after we had looked through the, some of the boxes, we had found some evidence that there were spiders, some web, and, you know, some dead bugs in a web. And really all it takes is one female Black Widow spider, or one egg sac, and then it's... Yeah, well, you know what it's like, all right. So leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.